in this video we will start and cover the file tab in Microsoft Word first step let's start with opening Microsoft Word I will click on start I will search for Word application I will open a blank file this is a Word document uh, first step is to do is I will do file save I will choose the desktop I create I will create a folder for example word and I will save my file for example document one now I will generate a random paragraph random take two parameters first parameter is number of paragraph for example 10 paragraphs the second parameter is number of statements inside each paragraph for example I will generate five statements in each paragraph I will click enter uh, now word generate randomly 10 paragraphs uh, each paragraph contains five statement now let's start with the file tab in file we see how to save so to save again I just click on save and the document will be saved or I can click here on the save icon uh, save as is to save a, you know, a copy from the file so if I click on save as I will choose the same folder I will name the file document 2 so now if I go to open I will see that, that I have now in the on desktop in the word folder two files document one and document two these are the two files so the difference between save and save as save do the save on the same file save as create a new copy so if I click save again save as choose word document I can rename the file document 3 now I will have in word folder on desktop three document files so let's try to open for example document one so now I have document one and document three opened now to close the file I go to file and I click on close so document three has been closed and document one still open uh, also in file we find the recent tab the recent contain contain the most recent files I worked on to pin a document to always show in the recent file I can here click on this icon so now the file will be in the pin tab so uh, whenever I want I can go to pin tab I will find my document I, I can click directly on it to open the file now we have the print button if I click on print button first step is to specify number of copies for example I need one copy from the document if I need two copy I increase to put two copies also I have the option to choose the printer I can choose the printer or I can uh, make it uh, as Adobe PDF this will generate a PDF copy from my file then in the settings I can choose to print all pages and for example uh, here in this document it will print the two pages to print current page the current page that I am inside it or to print custom printing so I can specify number of pages or from which page to which page I need to print or I can print selection to print selection uh, just a note for example in the selection to select a word I can double click on the word to select to select the whole line I click outside the line if I double click outside the line I choose the paragraph also I can click and drag I can click and drag to select many paragraphs so let's uh, for example I need to print these two paragraph I drag uh, click and drag to select these two paragraph then file print now I can choose print 
selection. So spin selection will only print the selection, the two paragraph I already selected. Uh, be also in pages set up, I can print one sli one sided, so each page on one pa on one paper, or manual print on both side. So, uh, for example, page one and page two will be printed on the same paper, collated and uncollated. Collated, for example, here I have two copies. If I selected collated, so page one will be uh, printed, then page two will be printed, and after that, an also copy will be printed, page one and page two again. Uncollated, so page one will be printed two times, page one and then page one. After that, page two will be printed two times. So page one, page one, then page two, page two. So in collated, the printing will be page one, page two, page then page one, page two, and collated page one, page one, and then page two, page two. Also, I can specify the page orientation. We have two options of page orientation. We have the portrait and landscape. Uh, by default, the page layout is portrait. I can choose landscape, we will see the landscape page, or I can go back to portrait. Uh, be below uh, page orientation, we have the page size or design. Uh, default, we, we have it as letter. We can choose, for example, to print it as a four size. Below the page size, we have the margin uh, margins. Margins are the white space at the top, right, bottom, and left of page. This was we called page margins. So I can also change margins. I can use, for example, narrow margins. I can use wide margins. You see how the margin is changes when I change the margins. Let's uh, make it by default normal. Also, I can specify how many page I need to print on each paper. For example, two page uh, per sheet, yeah, two page on the same page. And when I finish to set up what I need in the print, I click on the print icon. I click on the print icon. If I need, no, I now need to print, I can go click on back. I, it, and it will return to the word page. Uh, 